Okay, so interest and depreciation are not a very interesting topic. So in general, the formula is going to be your final value is going to be equal to the initial amount multiplied by some percentage increase to the power of the number of years or the amount of time that has passed. So the question is, how do we find out this percentage increase? Well, if it's interest, it means it's going to be increasing. Okay. So if we go down to our first question, a man invests £10,000 into an investment account that returns 3% per year. How much money will he have after six years? So 100% is the original amount of money that he has. And now we're adding on 3% which gives me 103%. Okay. Now, I like to turn this into a decimal. However, it is actually optional. Your calculator will actually work up percentages just in the percentage format, so long as you press the percentage button, which is found on your calculator over here. Shift and the answer button. So, in this case, however, let's divide it by 100. So, all that's going to be is 1.03. So now, to work out the value, we have our final value, which is what we want to work out. The original amount is £10,000 multiplied by a percentage increase, which again, I'm going to do it as a decimal. However, you're more than welcome to do it as a percentage to the power of six. So again, entering that into our calculator, make sure that you add all of the brackets that I have, just to make sure nothing weird happens, and then to the power of six. And boom, we get our answer. Now again, with money, make sure you're rounding to two decimal places, because that is what our currency is in. Now, what's interesting about interest is that you can actually chain this along. So what happens, and this is very common in questions, what happens when the percentage changes? So it returns 3% first year, 2% for the second, and then 1% for the next three years. Well, what we can do is just chain this on. So again, the 3%, that'll be 103%, because 100 plus 3%, which is 1.03. The 2% will be 1.02, and the 1% will be 1.01 .01 if you follow the uh, above steps. So now our value is going to be the original amount, and now all we're going to do is chain along these percentages. It's 1.03 for one year, 1.02 for one year, so just the second year, and then 1.01 .01 for the next three years. So we can just chain it along like that. So if we were to look at this, I'm just going to reuse the one that we had before. So that's just one year and then times 1.02 for one year. And again, you don't need to put the brackets because of course it's going to be all the same. And then 1.01 .01 for three years. So again, it's very common in your exam questions, the slightly harder version of interest and depreciation. They like to chain on the values here. And I put an X instead of a times. Let's quickly change that. So just make sure that you are being very careful with that. So that gives £10,824. So now the question becomes, what about depreciation? Well, depreciation is when a value decreases. So if we have a look at this, a woman buys a car for £15,000, it depreciates by 5%. So if 100% is the original amount, then if it's decreasing by 5%, we're just going to take away 5% which gives me 95%, and again, if you divide this by 100, you're going to get 0 0.95. Again, you can just put 95% as your calculator, though. So again, our equation still holds. The original amount is 15,000. The percentage is now 0 0.95, and we're doing this for seven years. So again, the calculation remains exactly the same. So 15,000 multiplied by 0 0.95 to the power of 7 means the car is worth £10,475 and 6 pennies. So I hope that all makes more sense.